Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking at your next major changes in your love life. So this is super exciting, Air Signs. Um, what's coming up? What's new? What are the changes that are destined for you uh, to take place So um, around this time frame? So I'll be using a couple of decks. We'll pull out a card for overall energy um, as well. And I'm going to have an extended version to this reading. So if you're interested, uh, the extended reading, the link to the extended reading is going to be available below. So make sure you follow that link to find your extended version. Um, otherwise, let's jump into the main bit. What's the overall energy for air signs? What's the next major change coming into your love life? Okay, you've got the moon. So the moon can be the past. It can be your subconscious, um, but it, it can also represent the sign of a cancer. So if some of you are dealing with this person, they may be back into your life or just in general, the moon is like following your intuition or something you had a feeling about, you had a hunch about, you had some sort of emotion connected to it is returning to you. Okay, so there's a lot of emotional change and the moon represents attachment. So overall, I want to say air signs that an attachment from the past um, is coming back up around you uh, or you are about to grow emotions for someone around you. So lots of emotional changes that are happening within you. Okay, now for a lot of you, you're going to be surprised because these feelings may come unexpectedly. For example, it may be an ex you haven't heard from in a while. Suddenly, you know, they pop back up into your life. You realize you still have feelings. For others, I feel like feelings are going to grow for maybe a new attachment. But the, because the moon is the subconscious, the moon can be what's you know, have, has sort of connected us in our past somehow, I get that there is some sort of reunion on the cards for you, air signs, okay? The moon is telling me that there's emotions um, that are coming into a picture here. You've got the numbers one and eight, which make nine. Nine is actually uh, connected to endings. So there is the, the next major change is connected to some sort of ending here for you, either ending a past chapter um, or re living a new chapter with someone you have ended with. So it's going to be different for all of the air signs watching, but um, it is cancer energy. Cancer energy is attached. It's a nostalgic energy air sign. So someone out there might be missing you, missing the love you provide, um, you know, the connection. So let's see. Let's see what's coming up here. <clears throat> Okay, there's definitely a fated relationship that's on the cards here. This is so exciting for us air signs. Okay, so we've got the two of cups. There is a reconciliation or a reunion that's taking place here. Okay, so we've got strong Libra Aries Leo energy that's come up next to you. So it might be with one of these signs, but this is very powerful because I feel like past attachment, this is like a brand new chapter, right? But it's like somehow connected to the past. It feels familiar or you'll do something with someone that you have done in the past, maybe with someone else. But I feel like there is a foreign person that's coming in, okay? Not usually your type air signs, okay? Not not usually what you go for, but you're experimenting. It's like, you know, you want to try out this type of person or you want to experiment a little bit. It's like not your, it's like not your uh, usual type, but you're going to suss them out anyway because they have you intrigued. They're pulling you in. The moon pulls us in, right? So you're going to go with it. Um, I feel like with the magician, this is kind of like that falling in love kind of energy, the butterflies in the stomach. So it's like someone from your past is going to give you those butterflies in your stomach again. Um, or it's like because your emotions are growing with the moon, emotional change, um, you're going to be like a fall in love. Okay, so for a lot of you, you're falling in love again. This is something you've been waiting for for a while. Um, I feel like with the Justice card, it's telling me that there is a destined partnership. It's a partnership card and you've got the Two of Cups. So I feel like this next person you meet, um, this is the one. Okay, this is the one you've been waiting for. You might have been with other people up, you know, before you've met them. 
um, or it's like the one that's coming back. It's like you're destined to be together, you know, this whole notion of destiny. We've got uh, two of cups, the, the Libra and the karmic energy. We've got the sun. It's like the universe is putting the two of you together for a reason. You know, we shouldn't ignore it. Um, and I feel like the two of ones, two of ones, there could be two different connections coming in here. Um, or it's like, maybe this is for the air signs that want to give things another go with this ex person. They'll pop up into your life. It's going to be your free will, dependent on your emotions and where you're at. If you want to accept them or not, or wherever you sort of stand in that relationship, that's going to be up to you. But I feel like what I'm seeing here is that the justice card, this like, this is like the deciding factor, right? It's like that. Okay. We're going to be together. We're going to be together. We're going to make this work. A justice card is like putting your foot down and like nothing else will matter. It's so beautiful and you're so deserving of it. Um, I feel like with the full card, it's someone you've maybe made mistakes with, or it's someone that had to go out and do their own thing and make mistakes and then maybe come back to you. Um, again, your emotions are going to change. So for some of you, this person may come back and you'll be like, no, I'm not interested anymore. I found someone new. You know, I found what I truly wanted. For others, I feel like that moon card is telling me you're falling for someone that you weren't expecting to fall for. It's like you weren't looking for love, but it found you. It found you anyway, air signs. You know, you may, may be focused on doing your own thing, you know, uh, getting a promotion at work, traveling, you know, paying off your debts or your taxes or whatever. And then suddenly this person just pops up and it's like your emotions are in turmoil and they feel so perfect and things just feel so intense and you can't ignore it. So this is very exciting. Um, I want to say with the two of ones, it's like you'll be like comparing someone to this person somehow. Maybe it's with an ex, maybe you're like subconsciously still like, oh, they have this, they don't have that. They're more attractive. They're, you know, more ambitious. They're more successful. But it's going to give you a good contrast to what you had before and the person you're comparing to now. So you'll be like, wow, okay, what did I see in this person before that, you know, like you will have this contrast, right, with that two of ones to compare these two different connections entirely, especially with that full card. But this is like a full in love. You're just going to like jump into this person's life. You're going to jump into their arms and this could be really perfect. It may happen very quickly, but the moon is telling me, you have a major new cycle coming up in your life, air signs. Um, and you're going to welcome in that new cycle because there's a readiness. Emotionally, your emotions are ready with that nine. You're ready to take the next step in love. Um, you're ready to take the risks. You're ready to do the comparing. You're ready to get those butterflies in the stomach once again. And isn't that always the case when you're not looking for love? It just, it literally comes up to your doorstep it's so so amazing how the universe works sometimes but um i'll leave it there and continue with your extended version so the link is going to be below um you'll have to sign up to membership to get the extended version but um it'll be there for you and i'll break it down for gemini libra aquarius so i'll catch you on the other side otherwise take care subscribe like share um, lots of love and bye for now